It is DIY Thursday, and it's been a while, but we brought Erica back from behind the scenes to help us with this really interesting arts and crafts project yes. that you can do with your friends, family members, students, anyone. I think this is a, a universal project. Universal and easy at that. So yeah. we're making wreaths out of clothespins, which sounds a little crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but take a look at some of the ones that I found on Pinterest. So you can find one for every occasion. This one's a beach themed one. I think it's really cute. There's also one that was made into an American flag. And then this one is fall themed. So you can really, they're universal. You can make them for any occasion. If you're a teacher, you can throw them in your classroom. They're kind of just universal all the way and then you say teachers when I think about this this would be great for like a countdown or a count yeah. up to something like if it's you know 25 days of Christmas for each start taking them in yeah put That's them on really or idea. you put them on so that you fill it up when the holiday comes that yeah. could be cute yeah all right tell us how you made this Erica all right so first of all you can get everything for less than $10, you can make this whole wreath. Nice. Um, so I started out with some clothes pins to save a little bit of time. I went ahead and I painted them ahead of time. So we're okay. going with like a Valentine's Day theme. So we've got some red and pink. I just use acrylic paints, let them dry, and then we are good to go. Okay. Now, if you want to flip this around, what I did is I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought a floral like wreath thing with some green wiring it's two dollars at Hobby Lobby and you can use a 40% off coupon at that now what section do you find this in is it with the floral yes it's okay. with the floral so you'll see um with you know, all the you'll flowers. get lost in Hobby Lobby looking yeah. for stuff so we want <laughs> with the flowers we want to take you to where you need to be all right and then I see you have a little sign down here. yes and I just bought another you know wooden piece painted okay. it, and I added that to the wreath but to get the clothes pins on the wreath it's super easy all right so I'll go ahead and demonstrate so I left a little piece blank on here for today but you want to take a clothespin so we're going to go ahead and go with the red and with the wiring there's four different parts to it you want to go into the last bottom two and you literally just clip it in the middle and it helps so if you get the grooves of the clothespin within the wire so you want it to close down in the grooves okay and I, all I did is just keep rotating. I did a red, pink, red, pink. And by the end of it, you're done. That's wow. Literally so easy. You can go out of the way, throw some glitter on it, decorate. You can go more than, you know, just the paint. You could do polka dots, glitter, sparkles. And what I love about this is you can reuse it for so many different holidays and occasions, just like you showed at the beginning of the project. If it's the season or whether someone's having a birthday, you can customize it. Not only that, cool little hack is obviously the back is all blank. If you wanted to do also, it's like maybe a St. Patrick's Day theme, you could mm -hmm. do green and when it comes time, just flip them all over. Because cool. nothing is glued down. It's all tied and flipped in. <laughs> I love it. So for this one, you can make a nice clothespin for your Valentine. I even like the idea you can write little notes on them mm -hmm. or little words and things like that so that each clothespin has a different meaning. So, so many things you can do with this. So festive and creative. But the really neat thing, it's affordable and it's something you can do with friends. Yes, and if you're wondering where to get clothespins, you can find them with the laundry detergent. I got a pack of 100 for $2.50. All right, so. there you go. Thanks, Erica. You're welcome. Erica.